Good day, friends. Good day, humans. Today, it's a day. The 23 September 2017. The day when YouTube is no more. Today, the Meteors supposed to fall. The comet should disintegrate. The black mist should eat all the souls. If nothing happens. But the YouTube going down the drain. So, title. When YouTube became their tube and how to expedite it's dead. The death of the YouTube is, I don't think it's conceivable to many, about four billion people that they were using it, some occasionally, some absolutely transferring all their energies into this uh, truly a beautiful wonder when it opens. Yet nobody at that time could see what was the sinister actions behind. What was the real plot? How to steal, how to pillage, how to disgrace all the creators who were doing absolutely brilliant work. How the natural and organic human energy was poured into this platform, the sinister and very synthetic platform. So, description, the title, pretty much says it all, because this will be the only video that I'll upload in YouTube, and I will from this point redirect all of my energy into other platforms and other projects. They are really appreciating what I am and how I treat other humans. So it treat me in the same way, all these new platforms treating me in the same way as I'm treating them. So I took took me a long time. YouTube I'm using for probably almost nine years. And still minimal really let's call it financial interest was not involved at all. Censorship was heavy. Abuse of my videos were transferred to another party who was being who was like taking all the credits. I've been censored for pretty much have no idea what because I'm talking openly about everything. Yet, you can hang the kid on the camera, you can cut the heads on YouTube, and YouTube will actually increase by synthetic viewership, the views of these videos. So, I think it's a time for me to part from there. One of the main reasons was that I was hoping, why I stay so long, I was hoping that transformation will happen. Somehow, somehow this dark sinister AI will recognize what we are, that we are really genuine humans who are giving our part of our pretty much soul, putting it into the, the videos, into editing, into pretty much sharing, into music, absolutely brilliantly we recognize a potential of the YouTube. Yet, YouTube did not really see that we fit well because we are too rebel, we are too open, we are too free to be censored or confined into their own so-called protocols, how and which words we can use. And uh, I don't know. 
it's time to say goodbye as Andrea Bocelli was singing beautifully so but to me it's time to say farewell because all my creation I'm calling back every single video thousands of them every single comment hundreds of thousands of them every single sharing on all the kind of platforms this stops at least for me and I'm really <laughs> sensing I'm just of many who start doing it finding a new ways but people could not really understand what has really happened like I give all my best I put my energy and effort and so much creative work that we return we in return receive Condemnation, censorship, blockages, trolling of absolutely ridiculous creatures who are probably not even fully humans, so they could not understand the concept behind being synthetic or robot. By me pulling out, I will show a YouTube that became in recent, <laughs> probably from beginning was hidden, it was there too. Now became fully, all your product, all your creative work became theirs. So they could just change it to their tube, or greedy tube, or sensor tube, any kind of these names could fit. So, question to you whoever want to hear this how you can prevent YouTube to do the things they were doing cutting your clicks or viewership or reducing your uh, revenues what's the best way in my view not use it anymore I did discussions I did videos with them complaints, uh, first, uh, second and third warnings they were giving me, they are blocking me, they removed a couple of years ago completely my, my channel, so I have to be renamed before they kind of combine it with a, with a Google or whatever Google bought, the YouTube. So being watched or observe or censored or control for that long it really makes me stupid really makes me almost like that am I just dumb that I continue doing and feeding the beast more and more and more until now it's a good day I guess there's no meteors there's no hurricanes there's no uh, comets that will going to destroy anything yet it'll be something very simple very genuine it will destroy the YouTube it will be my poem on the end of this video and this poem will be posted wherever I can outside of the YouTube of course where because I know that my words matter I mean any person's words matter for me my words matter the most because I say the things that I really intend to happen. How many weeks, months, the YouTube will reside in this kind of, you know, ignorant theft uh, policies? Doesn't matter. They will not steal from me anymore. So be it. So do you answer the best way to remove or prevent YouTube to steal from you? not to be part of it, to call back all your energies and to reduce pretty much any interaction with the trolls and with this dark AI that was controlling the YouTube. And don't worry about their profits because they of course don't, don't worry about your engagement and where you get used to earning funds, now you don't. So what's your option? Go and complain? 
or find a different solutions. And I can suggest you some. And I think it will be even more coming down the road. The first one that I really like very recently, it's called D-Tube. I called it Dragon Tube. And it's a part of the Steemit platform that actually pays in Bitcoin or in Steam points or your original postings or your sharings or your upvoting and so on. So it's really respecting your opinions. While YouTube could make all of this ad hoc, it could just print the clicks as they were doing a fake fiat dollars, they can print fiat clicks or fiat views. As a matter, Alex Jones is, Stefan Molnos and all the other fake uh, uh, huh, CIA infiltrators, they can just have 10 million clicks in 35 seconds as soon as they post a video. Yet the content of this is absolutely ludicrous. So they want us to be brainwashed by creatures like this. Yet when a people like Joseph Watson, anyway, as he's a part now of uh, the uh, Info Wars. He became very prominent how to actually cleanse Info Wars from within. So to me, he's a beautiful hmm, depiction of light that infiltrated inside the dark cabal Info Wars crapsters. So he's doing absolutely brilliant job. Congratulations. And I'm truly honored that you're doing it with such a vigor and a beautiful comic ways of expressing. Thank you. When you see that the YouTube, as one of the examples, as I'm talking about the video now platforms, to me, it was a just a synthetic vampire that was eating your energies, energies of the viewers. And where did this go? Where all this massive amount of human creative energy went? You went to alien ships, dark alien ships, dark underground tunnels, where this so-called third generation AI computer system exists and they control and read and do all the algorithms what and how can be said, how they can mani manipulate, what kind of things they can put in front of you in your face to control you more or to actually suck you more into their you know, never-ending rabbit hole because this is where we're heading until there are people like I am that will actually stop a YouTube stealing from other humans. So let me read you a poem. Title. Once yours, now it's only their tube. Let's bury a YouTube because it became a greedy stew. Where stew meaning of the stew is nothing else but a stupid cube, which really is. Let bury censor tube as being censored and stolen, just an old AI dupe. Let's withdraw our creative energies and use it for healing of our old lethargies. Let's forget the thief that YouTube was and put it on the permanent pause. Let's dissolve this dark tube as one could not show are of his boobs or one of his boobs. Let's ignore this thief that YouTube was by not giving self any longer into the old dark scam. Once this was YouTube, that was yours, yet no more. 
while censor, theft, and greed became the norm in every sport. Once it was an YouTube, and now we will forget about there too. So be it.